Yep. Lucy's just having some basal liposuction to her upper arm, where she's got this typical problem of a little bit of localized fatty collection, some loose skin, and the basa just helps remove that little bit of fat and tightens the skin at the same time. Um, she's having it done under local anesthetic, and this is the local anesthetic going in. Obviously, it will sting, but she's reasonably comfortable. This device, the power assisted device, vibrates and it helps me inject the local anesthetic more evenly. And then we'll wait a good 15 20 minutes for the local anesthetic to act before we actually do the vasor and the liposuction. So I'm putting in the vasor probe now. So this is the high energy ultrasound probe that will melt the fat, but not just that. So this is the skin and the probe goes underneath the skin and it's helping to tighten the skin at the same time. Okay. And go. So it, it's like a because of the energy is like putting a knife through butter. I like to see see how I'm just using two fingers and it's just gliding in as opposed to conventional liposuction where I will be shoving things very hard. That's the beauty of Vaser. It's very non-traumatic, preserves the blood vessel so there's very little bleeding, uh, does minimal damage to the nerves because it's very specific for fat tissue. And obviously, the skin tightening element is 50% more than conventional liposuction. Are you comfortable, Lucy? Yeah, fine. They can't hear you. Yes, fine. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So we've spent um, about eight minutes each side using the vaser to melt the fat and I'm now going to suck out the fat. So as I've explained before, this is called the power assisted liposuction device. It vibrates so that when I suck the fat because of the vibration, the fat comes out a little bit more effectively. And I'm using a very thin cannula for the arm. We use different size cannula. This is called the cannula for different areas of the body. And you see the lovely fat coming out. Lucy, sorry, you can't see the fat, but we'll show that to you later on. And you can, as you can see, Lucy is really, really comfortable. On a level of 1 to 10, Lucy, um, how do you feel? 10 being very uncomfortable, 1 being very comfortable. What was that? Three. Two or three? Three. Three, I think she said. Three. Two. 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 So what is it that's uncomfortable at the moment? What she said was, it's just the position. There's no pain. I'm afraid I do need sometimes to put you into awkward positions in order to get to where I want to go. Okay, so I just wanted to show that there are different levels of liposuction and when we want more skin contraction rather than fat reduction, we do very superficial liposuction. You can see my cannula right underneath the skin. That's how we get the skin to retract.
and it's using a very small cannula right underneath the skin, like so. Okay. With a fat liposuction, and I use then a bigger cannula. You can see it's a much fatter one with a special basket. And without liposuction, we just use this to even out the, the contour. Okay, uh, suction up. And this is no suction, just evening out the contour. We finished, so you can see that it's nice and thin, the tissue, and hopefully um, with uh, Lucy's uh, skin elasticity, a lot of the skin will shrink. If it doesn't completely, then obviously we have other uh, means to encourage the skin to shrink, like with the radio frequency device we have that's called the Exilis 360, which um, you know I have warned Lucy about. So we're just going to finish up on the right side now. Lucy's had her uh, basal liposuction to upper arm. It took maybe an hour to do, and she's now in her pressure garment, which is super important. The pressure garment helps to uh, encourage the fluid that we've injected to exude out so it doesn't collect on the inside, and obviously, it's helping the skin to shrink as well.